All right, good morning, boys and girls. Good to have you here at chapel. We're going to start doing a chapel every Wednesday, so I hope you turn into your Facebook or YouTube and be able to catch this. So the first thing we do in chapel, I say good morning, boys and girls, and if you're at home, you say good morning, Pastor Garrett. Okay, can you do that? Because I miss that when you're not here. And so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to pray. That's what we always do, and I ask the kids all the time when we pray, who do we talk to? And they say we talk to God. So boys and girls, let's bow our heads and let's ask God to bless this chapel time, all right? Father, thank you for this chapel time. I pray that you would bless the boys and girls as they're at home. May they obey their parents. May they just have a wonderful day today. And Father, as we sing some songs now and as we look into your word for just a few moments, Lord, I pray that this be an encouragement not only to our kids but to our families. Lord, we thank you so much for all that you're going to do. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, so if you're watching this, every child stand up, put your hands out like this, and let's sing a couple of songs. First of all, let's sing, Jesus is the rock of my salvation. All right, you sing with me. All right, Jesus is the rock of my salvation. His banner over me is love. Jesus is the rock of my salvation. His banner over me is love. Jesus is the rock of my salvation. His banner over me is love. His banner over me is love. Then let's go to verse 2. Jesus is the vine and we are the branches. His banner over me is love. Jesus is the vine and we are the branches. His banner over me is love. Jesus is the vine and we are the branches. His banner over me is love. His banner over me is love. Oh, you're doing great. All right, our next song is The Foolish Man Built His House Where? That's right, on the sand. So everybody put your hands like this and let's sing together, all right? The foolish man built his house upon the sand. The foolish man built his house upon the sand. The foolish man built his house upon the sand. And the rains came tumbling down. Well, the rains came down as the floods came up. The rains came down as the floods came up. The rains came down as the floods came up. And the house on the sand went splat. The wise man built his house upon the rock. The wise man built his house upon the rock. The wise man built his house upon the rock, and the rains came tumbling down. Well, the rains came down as the floods came up. The rains came down as the floods came up. The rains came down as the floods came up, and the house on the rock stood firm. So build your life on the Lord Jesus Christ. Build your life on the Lord Jesus Christ. So build your life on the Lord Jesus Christ. And the blessings will come down. Well, the blessings will come down as the prayers go up. The blessings will come down as the prayers go up. The blessings will come down as the prayers go up. So build your life on the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, we're going to sing a song called Zacchaeus. And we're going to talk about Zacchaeus in just a moment. So you know this song, so you sing it with me, all right? Zacchaeus was a wee little man, and a wee little man was he. He climbed up in the sycamore tree, for the Lord he wanted to see. And as the Savior walked that way, he looked up in the tree and he said, Zacchaeus, you come down, for I'm going to your house today, for I'm going to your house today. Very good. You guys are doing great. One more song and then we're going to look into God's word. And this is Psalm 25 and it's unto thee, O Lord. Kids, you know this. You sing it with me, all right? Unto thee, O Lord. Do I lift up my soul? 
unto thee, O Lord, do I lift up my soul. O my God, I trust in thee. Let me not be ashamed. Let not mine enemies triumph over me. Boys and girls, you did a great job singing. Now, have a seat, and I want to share with you from God's Word just a short message. So you pay real close attention to, to this story that we have in God's Word. It's in Luke chapter 19. And very interesting because we're coming up on Palm Sunday. And Palm Sunday uh, really talks about Jesus Christ's triumphal entry into Jerusalem when he came. And, and the people proclaimed him, Hosanna, that means save us. And so he was coming through. Before he got to Jerusalem, he went through a city called Jericho. We remember Jericho in the Old Testament where the walls came tumbling down. But there was a man that lived in Jericho, and his name was Zacchaeus. Listen to what Scripture says. And Jesus entered and passed through Jericho, and behold, there was a man named Zacchaeus, which was the chief among the publicans, and he was rich. And he sought to see Jesus, who he, he was, and could not for the press, because he was little of stature. That means he was very small. He wanted to see Jesus could find him. So he's real small and he said, oh, I wish I could see Jesus and he couldn't. So verse 4 says this, and he ran before and climbed up into a sycamore tree to see him for he was to pass that way. So Zacchaeus knew that the Lord Jesus Christ was going to come this way and he just wanted to see who is this man that could do miracles. He heard a lot of great things about the Lord. So he wanted to see. So he had to find a place. So he climbed up. As a little man, he climbed up in a sycamore tree and he was looking. Verse 5 says this. And when Jesus came to the place, he looked up and he saw him and said unto him. Now, can you imagine? Boys and girls, here comes the Lord Jesus Christ and he's standing right under this sycamore tree. And all of a sudden, Zacchaeus is really listening. He's intent because he wants to know who this Jesus is. All of a sudden, Jesus looks straight up at him. And he looks right into the eyes of Zacchaeus. Now, notice what he says to him. He says, Zacchaeus, make haste and come down. For today, I must abide at thy house. He says, Zacchaeus, you come. I am coming into your house today. Well, Boy, can you imagine what Zacchaeus felt? Here's a man I've been wanting to see and I couldn't. And of all people, he's looking at me and he wants to come to my house. And Zacchaeus was so excited, boys and girls. But you know what? What if Jesus wanted to come to your house? Well, what if we didn't have this coronavirus and you had to stay in? And, and, and the Lord Jesus Christ said, I want to come into your room. Hey, is your room clean? Are you doing your part to pick up after yourself being at home? Don't let mommy and daddy have to pick up after you. You do your part. You be good, okay? You obey. And you, you be good at home picking up and different things like that. Because you never know who's going to come. And, and your mommy and daddy always want things to be neat and clean. So you help them, all right? But here's Zacchaeus. He comes down, verse 6, and he made haste and came down and received him joyfully. He was thrilled. And when they saw it, and they murmured all, saying that he was gone to be a guest with a man that is a sinner. You see, Zacchaeus was a tax collector, and Zacchaeus did a lot of bad things to people. And they wondered, Lord, why are you looking at that guy? He's no good. He's done bad. Why would you go to him? Well, boys and girls, Jesus Christ came to the earth to seek and to save those which were lost. God is no respecter of persons. He loves you, and he loves your family, and he loves those that... Don't do right. But he loves them and wants to share with him this gospel. So notice what he says in verse 8. And Zacchaeus stood and said unto the Lord, Behold, Lord, the half of my goods I give to the poor. And if I have taken anything from any man by false accusation, I will restore him fourfold. Zacchaeus meeting with the Lord Jesus Christ changed his heart, boys and girls. It changed his heart to now instead of wanting to take, take, take. He wants to give, give, give. And you know, Zacchaeus did. Zacchaeus went through the town and he said, anybody that I've harmed, I want to give it back four times as much. I want to please God, so I'm going to give of myself. And Jesus answered and said unto him this. He said, this day 
is salvation come to this house for as much as he also is a son of Abraham. For the son of man has come to seek and to save that which is lost. Boys and girls, today, you remember the story of Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus wanted to see God, but not only did he want to see him, he accepted him. And because he did, God changed everything. And you know what? In this time, you just trust God, will you? You put your faith and trust in God, and you know that God will do what is good and right for you. So, boys and girls, as we leave today, you remember the story of Zacchaeus. And God will help me. You be obedient to your parents. You do what's good. And then next week, you tune in again. We'll have another chapel time for our, our kids at Fayette Christian School. May God bless.